Hey, what's going on everybody? This is your boy James from What's Your Forte? And today I'm gonna be showing you how to install this black BMW M4 badge on my F82 M4. Let's get it. All right, y'all, so I ended up picking up this black BMW M4 badge from Turner Motorsports. I'll be linking it down below where you can get it from. I picked it up for around 23 bucks. So it's very, very inexpensive. And I think it's a must if you have a BMW M4 with the chrome badge. Now, the reason why I am putting this black badge on is one, because I'm going with the black theme on my car. And then two, when I bought this car used, the previous owner debadged it. Um, I guess he didn't want anybody to know he had an M4. I kind of want people to know I got an M4. You bought an M4, you spent the money on it. Kind of want people to have it. And I think the black accents just look good, uh, especially on the body and on the car. So uh, let's go ahead and get to this install. All right, everyone. So as you can see right here, this is the back rear section of my car where the badge would be. But like I said, the previous owner debadged it. So what I'm going to do first is just make sure your car is clean or at least this surface is clean, which mine is. So I'm just going to wipe it off again just to give it a last little wipe through to make sure there's no kind of dirt or dust or anything right here. Um, so, all right, looks like the surface is ready. Um, so what I've been looking at is a bunch of pictures to kind of see exactly where this emblem needs to line up at and it seems to start about right here um, in this corner so that's kind of where I'm going to use as my starting point here so I'm going to put a piece of masking tape kind of along here just to set my bottom baseline and then I'm going to measure my M4 emblem based on that bottom baseline so let's go ahead and get to it all right y'all so this install would have been a lot easier if i had the stock badge already because then i could just mask off where that badge is at and put the new badge over it but i don't have that so i have to kind of kind of eyeball it and kind of go off that so this is my masking tape kind of going to go like i said a brown bar right here so i'm got to just use my good eyesight my 2020 vision here to kind of make sure it stays level that looks about right so let me just lay that down uh, maybe that's a little bit higher on one side um if i had a like a leveling light or something like that i definitely definitely would recommend if you have one use it um i don't um and i think this will look close enough and it looks about right i'm looking at it in the camera too it looks a little bit higher on this side so i'm gonna lower it just a little bit um let's see That looks that looks close right there that looks really close let's just see yeah that looks about right yeah let's go with that i'll say that looks about right have it over here yeah so let's go with that positioning right there so now let's go ahead and pull this little front piece off actually let's leave the front piece on and we'll take the back piece off. So this, as you see here, it has some 3M tape already back there. You just peel that right off. And then now we're going to stick this. So I'm gonna kind of line it up here. I'm gonna pull this up just so I can kind of see. Oh, accidentally stuck it. And whew, this stuff is, stuff is sticky, man. Actually, that might actually end up working. Yeah, that actually might end up working. Might have been a mistake, but might end up working. So let's line it up there. All right. Let's take this off to see how that looks. Yeah, I think that actually might work. <laughs> it was kind of a mistake to put it there, but it's level. It's a little bit higher than kind of where I want it. But I mean, it's straight and it's going with the body line in the back. So, yeah, seems to be seems to be on pretty good there. And it's close to this corner. Let me take this green tape off. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. It seems to be a little bit further on this edge than like a normal badge, but I don't mind it too much. And hey, if I ended up not liking it really like that, I always can just buy another badge and take this off and we'll just take this off, put new 3M tape on the back and redo it. So, um, yeah, I kind of like it. Kind of flows, kind of goes like that. So there we go. So, yeah, pretty short, simple, sweet, easy video today. Nothing too major. 
just installing my rear BMW M4 badge. Now, you know, the, like I said, the stock one comes in chrome, but this is the black, gloss black one. Um, kind of matches the gloss black fender um, that I got that I did on the video yesterday. And um, yeah, I just like this. And this one is the one that comes on a competition pack. Um, BMW M4s and M3s and also this um, the CS I think the uh, GTS on one also is black as well so yeah man so that's it man super simple super easy mod and I think you know definitely I know some people like the D badge look they like it to be clean um, right now I kind of I kind of really like this I think it's gonna flow well with the design and what plans I have for the car so that's it man that's today's video short simple quick and easy so Hope y'all like this video. Please like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll holler at y'all later, man. Peace.